I'm Kenneth Crozier, I'm a Vesky Innovation Fellow and I'm returning to work at the University of Melbourne at the School of Physics and the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. It's remarkable how pervasive optical techniques are in the 21st century. One of the major areas of my research is on the interaction between light and nanoscale objects. We develop optical nanostructures that can concentrate light to nanoscale spots, meaning that we can do spectroscopy down to the level of the individual molecule, the single molecule. We can also use these nanoscale spots to trap nanoparticles using a technique called optical tweezers. The second part of my research on this topic is on harnessing some of these phenomena that occur to do with the interaction between light and nanoscale objects to make new types of devices. The Australian society will benefit in two ways uh, from this research. First, the discoveries that we make uh, will both uh, be important for basic science as well as could have applications in new types of technologies, for example, new types of digital cameras and high-speed microscopes that could be useful for medical research. The second way in which I believe Australian society could benefit from the research is that uh, in doing this research, we uh, educate our PhD students and postdoctoral fellows. In other words, we, yeah, we're building the infrastructure, the human infrastructure required for future advances in this field in Australia. At Harvard, I have a group of graduate students as well as postdoctoral fellows, and they have a range of um, expertise ranging from uh, electrical engineering to applied physics, chemistry, uh, as well as material science. The main scientific achievements we've had have been first on developing on demonstrating uh, optical nano tweezers, and we've shown that we can use nanostructures to generate highly focused light that we can use to trap nanoparticles. We also demonstrated microscopes that could operate over large areas with high resolution with throughputs, in other words, um, megapixels per second, that were far in excess of conventional approaches. When you try to recruit someone as successful as Kenneth uh, from a major university like Harvard, you, you need to have a pretty decent package of support structures and Vesky just made the difference with their award. It helped enormously to give, to, for us to be able to give him the research support that he needs to, uh, to launch his career back in Australia without any glitch. So the key to establishing a successful team is of course to recruit the, the best and the brightest. And the best and the brightest, what are they gonna want? Well, they're gonna want exciting projects, uh, state-of-the-art facilities, and a fertile intellectual environment. And I'm very, very pleased uh, by the support that the University of Melbourne and Vesky are giving me uh, toward that end. I started my university education at the University of Melbourne, studying physics and electrical engineering. Then after that, I moved to the United States uh, for graduate school at Stanford. Kenneth brings with him a set of skills, international networks, capability and know-how. Uh, that will really stimulate an enormous amount of cross-disciplinary research in the university. He's going to be a magnet for our uh, top graduate students and for postdoctoral fellows wanting that extra special training you get from superstars like him. One of the things that excited me to come back to Victoria was the establishment of the Melbourne Centre for Nanofabrication, which has many of the tools that uh, we use in our work because uh, much of our work is on the development of optical uh, nano and microstructures. So with the establishment of that facility a few years ago, then now uh, we have the capability to do the sorts of work um, that we've been so far doing at Harvard. I'm looking forward to being back in Victoria uh, because I look forward to the opportunity to uh, establish my program at the University of Melbourne and to educating the, the next generation of Australian scientists in the area of optics and photonics.